Volks Electric Railway is a narrow gauge heritage railway that runs along a length of the seafront of the English seaside resort of Brighton. It was built by Magnus Volk, the first section being completed in August 1883, and is the oldest operating electric railway in the world. It was not the first electric railway to be built, and was preceded by Werner von Siemens' 1879 demonstration line in Berlin and by the Gross Lichterfeld Tramway of 1881, but neither of these are operational. Operated as an historical seafront tourist attraction, the railway does not usually run during the winter months, and its service is also liable to occasional suspension due to severe weather or maintenance issues. Topic history On 3 August 1883 Magnus Volk opened a 2 feet 610 mm electric railway running for one quarter mile 402 meters between Swimming Arch opposite the main entrance to Brighton Aquarium, and adjacent to the site of the future Palace Pier and Chain Pier, electrical power at 50 volts DC was supplied to the small car using the two running rails. On 4 April 1884 the line was extended a further one half mile .8 km beyond the chain pier to Paston Place now known as Halfway, and regaged to 2 feet 8 and a half in 825 mm. The electrical supply was increased to 160 volts DC and the power plant was installed in the arch built into the cliff face at Paston Place. In 1886 an offset third rail was added to minimize current leakage. In 1896 the unusual Brighton and Rottingdean Seashore Electric Railway was built by Volk. Due to problems concerning the construction of lengthened groins to the east of Paston Place this closed in 1901, although it was not finally dismantled until 1910. Following the closure Volk's original electric railway was extended from Paston Place today's halfway to Black Rock on 21 February 1901. Paston Place was also the home of Volk's seaplane station, which was used by Volk's son George Herbert Volk. In 1930 the line was cut back 200 yards 183 meters from Palace Pier to its present terminus, still known as Aquarium. In 1935 Alido was built at Black Rock, and the line was shortened by around 200 yards 183 meters to accommodate it. In 1937, a new Black Rock station was opened at the end of the shortened line. In April 1940, Brighton Corporation took control of the line. On the 2nd of July 1940, World War II defensive preparations resulted in the line closing. After the war, starting in 1947, the corporation rebuilt the line using 50 pounds per yard, 24.80 kilograms per meter rail for the running line and 25 pounds per yard, 12.40 kilograms per meter mounted on insulators for the third rail. At Black Rock a new station was built to replace the 1937 building which had suffered badly during the war. The line reopened for passengers in 1948. Winter operation ceased from 1954, although the line did reopen temporarily in the winter of 1980 to cash in on the large numbers of sightseers who had come to look at the Athena B, a freighter that had beached near the Palace Pier. Two-car multiple operation was introduced in 1964. In recent years there has been a decline in visitor numbers due to package holidays abroad. In 1995 the Volks Electric Railway Association was formed to help the operator of the line Brighton and Hove City Council promote and operate the line. In 2003 the Volks Railway Institute of Science and Technology was formed to promote the educational and science side of the Victorian Railway to schools and special interest groups. In the late 1990s the Black Rock end of the line was temporarily shortened by 211 feet to permit a storm water storage scheme to be built in the marina area. The 1948 station was demolished and replaced by a new single platform station, which opened in 1998 and shares a building with a new southern water pumping station. In 2014, it was announced that the railway had been awarded a grant of £1.6 million by the Heritage Lottery Fund, a sum which must be spent by March 2017. The work to be funded is to include the provision of a visitor centre and ticket office at the aquarium station, a new depot with viewing gallery at halfway, the restoration of cars 4, 6 and 10 to full working order, and the provision of new educational materials about the railway. <laughs> <laughs> Operation Route. <laughs> 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 Today the line runs between terminal stations at Aquarium a short distance from the Palace Pier and Black Rock at Black Rock, not far from Brighton Marina, with an intermediate station and depot at Paston Place now known as Halfway. 
The line has a 2 feet 8 and a half in 825 mm narrow gauge, is electrified at 110 volts DC using a third rail, and is 1 mile 1.6 kilometers long. Topic: <laughs> Signaling The line is single throughout with a passing loop at halfway station known previously as Paston Place and Peter Pan's Playground. There are also two passing loops roughly midway between each terminal and halfway, although neither is used in normal service. In normal service two trains operate from end to end, passing at halfway station and there is generally only one train on each single track section at any one time. This is sufficient to provide a 15-minute interval service. Drivers are now equipped with radios which allow communication between themselves, stations and control. Nevertheless, the line is operated using single track tokens. There are two tokens, one for the section between Aquarium and Halfway, and one for Halfway to Black Rock. Due to the low line speed, multiple trains are able to operate in each section, but the token must be carried on the train furthest from Halfway. There are warning lights at pedestrian crossing points to the beach with a warbling siren to warn of the approach of a train. A following train is required to signal its approach to a pedestrian crossing point by sounding its klaxon horn. One such crossing provides the only external access to halfway station. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling stock The numbering of cars can cause some confusion as numbers were duplicated when new cars replaced scrapped vehicles. In 1948 cars number 8, 9 and 10 were renumbered 5, 2 and 1 respectively after the cars bearing those numbers were scrapped, all cars reverted to their original numbers in the year 2000. The cars were often built in pairs. Currently, there are seven electric cars and one diesel locomotive in operation on the line with an additional two electric cars on static display elsewhere. The railway also possess a small number of service wagons that are used with the diesel locomotive. A highly detailed model of Volks Carriage 6 is on show in the foyer of the Brighton Toy and Model Museum, donated by Siemens who provided much of the electrical equipment used on the railway. <laughs> Volks Electric Railway Association Vera. At the invitation of the Council and the management of the Railway as Supporters Association, the Volks Electric Railway Association was formed in 1995. Members of the association provide practical and promotional help to the Railway, including operation and maintenance tasks. The association also attends various exhibitions with a large operating model of the Railway as it was in the 1950s. Membership is open to all with an interest in the Railway. Members receive an informative quarterly magazine, reduced rate travel on the railway and free admission to a series of interesting winter meetings held in Brighton. The association also acts as a collector for Volks memorabilia and ephemera, some of which can be seen at the South Downs Heritage Centre in Hassocks. The largest object now in the care of the association is the ex Southend car which between 1950 and 2000 carried the Volks fleet No. 9. Car 3 will become a two-year joint restoration project if the temporary restoration shed gains consent during spring 2014. <laughs> <laughs> 